Yeah, I mean, I, one of the ones that we realize is just meeting our current customers' requirements. Uh, as they get more and more comfortable using, uh, you know, identity information and being able to use that, they see there, there's benefit to that. And so they want to expand the use of it. And as, we, as we've seen, our ident, you know, bi biometric system has grown from 9 million to 162 million. We, that's about a 15 million increase every single year of enrollments in our system. And so if you keep looking that on and people looking at more and more, it's just a challenge being able to keep the, the, the technology up to actually meet their requirements. The other one is, is they're looking at different modes of the use of biometrics. You know, fingerprints is, is, is used, you know, uh, by, by most of them, yeah. but they're looking at different modes, iris, facial, uh, voice. And so those are all the challenges of being able to actually do that, to use, you know, all these different modes. And, and the other one is I'll tap onto what Jeremy is saying is, you know, looking at how we can use, uh, you know, identity information to help, uh, you know, protect cyber and, uh, you know, infrastructure of, you know, Critical infrastructure. I mean, one of the things that you know the the NSTIC is doing, they're looking at you know the, the use of biometrics on smartphones and and all these other things. And so, really, because the idea is the challenge is going to be for us as as more and more interactions go online, how do you know who that person is that you're interacting with? Do you have some assurance that they are who they say they are? And so, th those are the things that, that I see are the big challenges going forward. Yeah.